awake spine surgery uh, is a special type of spine surgery. Instead of a patient going under general anesthesia, they actually get a spinal anesthesia, basically putting their spine to sleep but not the rest of their body. There's a whole range of patients that we pre previously were saying, you know, we really can't offer you surgery because you're too old, you have too many comorbidities. All of a sudden, the spinal anesthesia opens up our ability to do patients that we weren't able to do surgery on. I had had sciatica for almost 10 years. Also, if I walked any distance at all or stood for any length of time, I would get back pain. So there's two general uh, ways of uh, awake spine surgery. One of them is uh, sometimes the patient interaction is not so important. So we usually will allow them to have some type of sedation so you know, they're not as anxious. Um, you know, they may hear some things. They will not feel any pain. What we found is that patients can tolerate this awake spine surgery for about two to three hours. Uh, after that, you know, even with the music, we, bring, we let them listen to their favorite music and so on, they get a little bit bored and a little bit anxious. Now another type of awake sp spine surgery that we've been doing recently is where um, actually their interaction is very helpful. For some of those patients, we're actually just doing uh, the local block, uh, not the spinal anesthesia, and then when we decompress the nerve or we take the pressure off the nerve, they have immediate resolution of their pain. The surgery was not scary at all. I knew something was going on, but I really couldn't feel anything, and it was just before I knew it, it was over. If we take apples to apples, so we take one patient that has the same surgery under general anesthesia, and we have the same patient under spinal anesthesia, those patients that undergo spinal anesthesia stay in the hospital less time. 50% of those patients take zero opioids in the hospital. So that, you know, apples to apples, those patients under spinal anesthesia uh, do better. The sciatica was gone immediately. So now I can go on walks and really don't have any back pain. If you've been told that, uh, you know, you're too old for surgery uh, or you have too many comorbidities, but you do have, you know, uh, a problem with your spine, uh, either compression, the nerves being compressed, or you have a instability, then those patients are usually the ones that are, are, are uh, candidates for the awake spine surgery.